stand by for criteria. Under Karai, white or black, if security state is Egyptian, if event rank is Tellard, traumatic context or sky shock, outside context. If Veluspa is active and in failure, if Yuga is active and in sundown, if AI Com has granted permissive potentiation to outboard resilient instances, if a civilization kill event is underway, if tactical morality is built at midnight, activate Loki Crown. Perform deniable authorization for Cato metric and notic release. Prevent the traveler's departure by any means available. Welcome back, Guardians. Today we are discussing the hidden law behind Sleeper Simulant. Thank you to everyone who contributed to providing information on this topic during their live streams. Stay tuned for more information about live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. I will upload a separate video regarding the schedule. All the links are in the description. Once again, thank you to Brandon McCammy for providing the artwork at the beginning of this video. You can easily support him by simply viewing his website and YouTube channel. The links are below. This is Mylan Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny Law episode. The reason why the law for Sleeper Simulant is relatively hidden or difficult to understand is because it is described using many of Rasputin's protocols. These protocols were activated just prior to and during the collapse, and for the most part we do not entirely know what the protocols mean. However, if we combine the knowledge of multiple Grimoire cards, we can speculate on their purpose. I will cover the protocols in a hierarchical and chronological order in which they were activated. The first is Skyshock. Skyshock was activated when Rasputin first detected the darkness in Ghost Fragment Darkness. Rasputin detected an unknown, powerful and hostile force and consequently activated Skyshock. The new Ghost Fragment Rasputin 6 describes Skyshock as an event rank. So I interpret this as Rasputin has a number of code words to describe the ranking of certain events and phenomena. Skyshock, I assume, is the highest rank. High priority, high emergency, requires immediate action. The event itself is referred to as Karay White. I believe the event is referred to as Karay White because it is symbolic of our civilization being outmatched by the darkness. Because in real life, the Battle of Karay was a historic battle which saw a smaller force outnumbered 3 to 1. Despite this, the smaller force defeated a large Roman Empire with tactical use of cavalry. Rasputin may have labelled this event, the coming of the darkness, Karay White, to symbolise how our chances of survival were slim, but there was still hope that we could overcome a much more powerful opponent. Once Rasputin had recognised and predicted the invading force and pending collapse, he activates two more protocols, Veluspa and Yuga. The Sleeper Simulant Law is actually hidden in the Veluspa Protocol. To begin the Sleeper Simulant questline, we have to collect four Davlin Fusion Rifle Relics. The item description for these relics read, Veluspa Subroutine, Davlin Forge, Purpose, Strategic arming of human forces in the face of Karay White emergency. So this confirms that Davelin Forge was a subroutine of the protocol Veluspa, and the purpose was to arm human forces to prepare for the darkness. Yes, Rasputin gave everyone fusion rifles, and at that point he realized he should have given everyone matadors. <laughs> So the Davelin Forge was a subroutine of Veluspa during the Collapse. However, Rasputin activates a new subroutine during our years as Guardians. It is called a Kelos. Rasputin does this in order to arm Guardians to help protect Rasputin's bunkers from the Fallen. This is reinforced by the Sleeper Simulant Grimoire card which reads, Number of exterior defense breaches has increased by 400% in the past year. Current campus defense protocols unable to keep up with new demands. Operation Midnight Exigent is not yet complete. 
interim response necessity is imperative, hypothesize that resource guardians may be leveraged to compensate for CDP inadequacies, reassign 12% of Cosmo assets to new directive, declare Akelos. I am calling Veluspa and extracting subroutine Davlin Forge to be modified and recompiled to comport to midnight exigent parameters. I am inserting the modified Davlin Forge 2 into Ikelos and compiling for immediate implementation. As you can see, Rasputin took the Veluspa protocol and extracted the Davlin Forge subroutine, which had the original purpose of arming civilization to fight the darkness, and modified the Davlin subroutine to make a new one called Ikelos. In the Sleeper Simulant quest line, this new subroutine Ikelos has us follow a trail of transmissions that leads to the discovery of the Ikelos fusion core which we then activate by inserting plasma confinement control modules, which can only be obtained from Warsat public events on Earth, Mars, and Venus. I, I assume Rasputin sent down the parts we needed to activate the Ikelos core. The activated Ikelos core is then inserted into a weapon frame and the sleeper simulant is produced. The Sleeper Simulant Grimoire card, which is rewarded after creating the Sleeper Simulant, starts with Subroutine Ikelos, status equals complete. Midnight Exigent, status equals still in progress. Basically, Rasputin armed Guardians with Sleeper Simulant in order to protect its assets, just like during the collapse when Rasputin activated Davlin Forge to arm Civilization. However, there is one major difference. You may have already spotted it, Midnight Exigent. I did not mention it before, however, after Veluspa failed, Yuga failed, fighting off the darkness failed, Rasputin activated another protocol, Midnight Exigent. This protocol formatted the moral structures of Rasputin. It allowed Rasputin to turn off its civilization protection protocols. This is reinforced in the Ghost Fragment Rasputin 3 card, which reads, I am declaring Yuga Sundown effective on receipt, Epoch Reached Force Con Variant. Cancel Counterforce Objectives, Cancel Population Protection Objectives, Format Moral Structures for Midnight Exigent. Rasputin had to make the choice to stop protecting civilization, knowing that millions would die. However, by changing these protocols, he may discover a solution to combat the darkness. And he did. By deactivating his moral protocols, Rasputin was able to strike down and cripple the Traveller, and Rasputin predicted that by forcing the Traveller to stay on Earth, the Traveller would release a defense mechanism, which it did, the Ghosts, which created Guardians, our greatest weapon against the darkness. This is all told to us in Ghost Fragment Rasputin 5. So now that you understand what Midnight Exigent is, you'll notice that Rasputin has not reactivated its moral protocols. The Sleeper Simulant card says Midnight Exigent status equals still in progress. The Sleeper Simulant questline says Bunga Perimeter defenses have repeatedly failed, calling new mechanism, Akelos, purpose, enable Guardians to secure key positions and other goals relevant to Midnight Exigent. Relevant to Midnight Exigent? Midnight Exigent is not about defending humanity. In fact, it was the opposite, switching off civilization protection protocols. Rasputin only gifted Guardians with a sleeper simulant to leverage their abilities and defend Rasputin's own assets. Thank you for watching. That concludes this latest Destiny Lore episode. If you'd like to support this channel, leave the phrase Midnight Exigent to represent the deactivation of Rasputin's moral protocols, protocols that are still inactive. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.